Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Danielle. I'm mother to a two year old son and currently 36 weeks pregnant and today is going to be my 36 week pregnancy update. So let's get into it. So I look a little bit dishevelled, yeah, and makeup's probably a bit everywhere because I've just filmed potentially the start of my birthing vlog and I got really, really emotional and just started bursting out crying. So yeah, I'm looking a bit of a mess. But that's probably a bit of a clue to how this week is going. So yeah, I'm 36 weeks pregnant. This is my update. I don't know if I mentioned it. I'm just all over the place. Um, so last night I thought I was going into labour. So I was randomly really, really sick yesterday, um, like in the evening. And then I went to bed. I was like, I'm just going to go to bed and try and sleep. And I went to bed and from about 11pm to about 2am, I had really bad sort of cramping. But it wasn't like, I've had cramping in this pregnancy, but it's always been like a mild cramping. But this was like, more severe where I was like ow ow this is really uncomfortable and they were lasting around about 20 seconds and they were like every sort of five minutes and obviously it was for quite a while for a few hours um and that's how it felt at the start of um a label with Henry um so I really did think that last night I was gonna go into labour I've woken up this morning I've got no cramping no pain um but I just don't feel right. I don't know what it is. I like I, I feel like I'm going to cry again because I'm so emotional at the minute. I don't feel myself at all. I feel so sick. Um, I'm so exhausted. Um, yeah, I just feel like I'm mentally and just physically exhausted. And it's getting hard now. I feel like I'm snapping at people um, when I don't mean to. Um, yeah, it's been a really, really difficult week because, like I said, I've just not felt right. I've not felt like myself. I've just felt really poorly, like feeling sick, headaches. Um, oh, I just don't... <laughs> I just... I'm, I'm just so tired as well I'm just not sleeping at all like it's really bad sleep somnia I think yeah and I'm trying to pull myself together a little bit and not just like cry all day so yeah anyway I've woken up this morning apart from feeling sick and having a bit of a headache I've got no pain or anything like that so I think it was probably Braxton Hicks um I know it's still quite early, but I just feel like I'm ready for this baby to be here now. It has been, like I mentioned on previous videos, it's been a, it's been a hard pregnancy, I'm not going to lie. Um, you know, the, it's not always a bed of roses, how people make it out to be. Sometimes it is quite difficult, and we've had a lot of ups and downs this pregnancy. And I'm just ready for her to be here now um, and I'm ready to kind of have, this sounds awful, but to have my body back. And I know that sounds so bad, but I really am because I have felt sick constantly throughout this pregnancy. I even said to Dan the other day, I was like planning on what I'm gonna eat when um, I've had the baby because I'm hoping like I'm instantly not gonna feel sick. So I'm like, oh, I'm gonna have Chinese and then, I'm gonna make sure we've got a big bag of Doritos and a dip in, and then I'm gonna have a big bag of Rebels, and I'm like planning all this stuff, like just fantasizing of like, cause I've eaten stuff like that, but I just haven't enjoyed it because I just haven't felt good. Um, so I'm like just fantasizing about eating all this food, all this yummy food, um, once I've had the baby, but obviously, you know, if the baby needs to cook longer, it's what's best for the baby, and you know, I'm happy with that and you know we've got to roll with it. 
so yeah i kind of feel like at the start of this video i've kind of just gone on a tangent and i don't know if i've made any sense really because my um yeah i feel a bit all over the place um but yeah so this week i would say sickness has come back and they do say sometimes you kind of what you've had at the first trimester so i just feel really windy and like sicky so i do follow on charge for that um so yeah so they do say sometimes if you had it quite bad at the first trimester then sometimes it can return at the end because your, your stomach your body's just like so full you know it can't really i don't know i don't know if it pushes on your stomach i don't know this, there is a reason why you start to feel sick at the end because you're just so full there and there's not a lot of room um so yeah so feeling nauseous and actually being sick um this week i've been getting headaches this week um i've been struggling to sleep a lot and that's to do with sort of acid feeling sick um leg cramp and also just i don't know i can lie that it, it's strange because throughout the day i'm like oh, i'm so tired i just can't wait till bedtime i can't wait till bedtime and then i'll get to bed and i'm like wide awake and i just can't sleep and it, it's like the strangest thing like it's like my body's like you're tired but my head's like nah you don't need sleep <laughs> who needs sleep it's overrated <laughs> so yeah i feel like i need sleep tell by the bags under my eyes um so yeah a few different physical symptoms this week my feet are still hot at night and i have to put a um like something wet like a wet cloth or something over them i feel like i'm constantly boiling i feel like my body temperature is like a thousand degrees like i'm always so so hot even like the days where it's a little bit cooler and in the morning it's quite cool and i've got all the windows <laughs> open and like everyone's like shivering i'm like i'm so so hot yeah it's my body temperature it's like i feel myself in every like my hands are hot my belly's hot I, like literally you touch my body and it's like touching fire so i'm gonna try and take it easy for the next couple of days because i'm not feeling great and the day before all this sort of kicked off i did loads and loads of cleaning in the house so dan was like you could have just like sort of overstretched yourself and just done a little bit too much um because i was like have i got a bug because i could have i could have a bug if i'm being sick um but it did feel a little bit like the morning sickness sort of thing so i don't know whether that's just sort of reappearing which i really can't be doing with it but i'm just thinking just a few more weeks left to go just to deal with these symptoms for a few more weeks it's gonna be all good I mentioned in my last update um with regards to iron deficiency um and things like that i'm still actually waiting for my bloods for that which is a little bit annoying i've phoned the last couple of days and nothing's come through yet so i'm really hoping that they're okay because i can really do without that right now and i'll tell you what actually i've got cramping now as i said i've not had it today i've got a little bit of cramping um but i think i think cramping is probably normal actually at this stage because obviously everything's starting to stretch and move and you know so another thing as well is i feel like she has dropped when i'm trying to sleep at night like i can feel so much pressure down there like a lot i mean i can still feel quite a lot at the top as well but like when she's moving ahead like my bladder i can feel like jabs in my bladder i don't know if that's why i'm getting quite a lot of cramping because she's really pushing down there um and i i literally can feel like her gut like her pushing down there um that's what was quite scary as well like when i was having the contractions i could like kind of feel pressure down there if you enjoyed this video and you actually managed to watch it all because i don't think it really made any sense at all give it a like and subscribe to my channel please um i'm actually in the process of packing my hospital bag and i want to finish it this hey baby Come on. and 